If you're back but you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So as you can see by the title, I am going to be reviewing Sealy Hair. This is the package that it came in. It's really cute, purple strings, and it's one of those bags that you um, pull tight. So on the bag, it says Beauty Start from Sealy Hair. Like that really cute and it's like silky so when I open it up inside is the hair of course it comes in this bag this is what it looks like also inside of the bag is this it looks like kind of like a promotion paper it has their Instagram uh, their Facebook their YouTube how to find them on AliExpress, all of that. Um, and it says top brand human hair. And oh, top brand and 100% human hair. Hmm. Okay, so two more things in the bag. This looks like a hairnet. It says wig cap. And this is what it is. It gonna focus though. And this is what it looks like. And it has cute little directions on the back of it. Um, and there also is this, which I think is a little, um, a mirror. It has their name on it. And it also has, I'm guessing, their slogan. I'm going to open it up so that you guys can see. Okay. So I'm guessing, oh, you push it. And it opens. So yeah, it's a mirror. So you can check that read, you know? Super cute, easy to fit in your purse or something. And like the cover is so cute, it's purple. You can see. Okay, so if you watched my last video, you know I still have on the wig from that last video because I, um, I installed it earlier this week. So now this is a two in one video. So I'm going to be reviewing this hair, but I'm also going to be taking this wig off. And I'm just gonna show you guys super quick what I use to take the wig off. So, I use Bold Hold. Bold Hold. Okay, okay. Is it going to... Okay, so I use Bold Hold to lay down my wigs. But to take them off, I'm pretty sure this is literally just from the beauty supply store. It says Super Hair Bonding Remover. And it's like a lotion. It comes out white. It's like a lotion. Um, I'm going to put a little bit on my finger. Like, that's what it looks like. It's like that and I also use a little bit of water so like that's what I do I just put it on the lace rub put it on rub lift it up rub until my until it comes off so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna take the wig off I'm not gonna be rebraiding my hair because like I said I just put this wig on so I'm going to just take the cap off and let me take the wig off take the cap off put on a new cap and get into <laughs> installing this wig before I get into taking this wig off, I forgot to open this up. So, on the front of the wig package, it says 180% density. The length is 18, and this is supposed to be deep wave. Yeah, deep wave. I'm not really sure. It says deep, DW, and I'm pretty sure that stands for deep wave. And it's a 13 by 4 um, lace front wig. So, let's open it up. Yeah, deep wave, 18 inch. Now, my plan for this was to cut it into a bob, but I don't know if I, yeah. My plan for this is to cut it into a bob. So, you guys will also see me do that. I'm going to take it, I'll go ahead and take it out the net. Okay, so I took it out the net. This is the hair. As you can see, curls are very defined and it's very wavy. 
inside. Take this out. <laughs> it also, oh, to keep your um, lace frontal in place, it also has this styrofoam holding thing. And it has the little pins right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that out. It's very easy to take out, by the way. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. It's pre-plucked, and they also laid out some baby hairs. So, four combs in the side. That's what it is right now. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get into taking this wig off. And I'll be back once I've taken it off. Okay, so I've taken off my wig. As you can see, my braids are still intact. Don't mind this right here. It's my mirror. So you're going to see it in the camera a lot because that's what I'm going to be looking into when I'm doing my wig. But next, all I'm going to do is put on my wig cap. What I do put on my wig cap is, um, well, when I'm putting on a wig, I like to use Got To Be Glue Free Spray to hold it down. And then I cut it and I put makeup on it. So... I'm going to fast forward through these steps. with the wig cap now all i'm gonna do is bleach the knots and pluck the wig which is next on my list so i'm gonna bleach the knots um show you guys the before and the after of when i pluck it okay so this is the wig before i pluck it it is kind of pre-plucked but of course i want to pluck mine more and these are the knots before i bleach it so just save that image in your mind Okay, guys, so I'm back. I finally um, plucked it and bleached the knots. I don't know what this part's from. So it's probably from me bleach bleaching it, but it's plucked, as you can see. Um, by the way, when you're plucking, you have to have you have to be very patient, and that's something that I lack in. So, if it's not like plucked a lot, it's because I got tired of plucking. But um, I'm about to try it on. Gonna have to change mirrors. Um. Just letting you guys know my part will be over here. Okay, so. Yeah, looks good. Longer than my hairline, as you can see, it stops like all the way down here. So I'm just going to cut it where I want it to stop. Around my ear. I do this, I'm just going to go ahead and say everything that I'm going to do. And I'm going to speed through all of this stuff or we'll fast forward through it so right now I'm just gonna cut around my ear and I'm gonna go ahead and lay this glue this glue is what I use I already showed it in the beginning it's not trying to focus but I use bold hold I lay it down until it's clear and then I add another coat clear and then I press this down so you're gonna see me do all of that with the glue and right now I have a band on it to make sure that it is dried into the glue all the way um so now I'm gonna cut it into a bob so basically I am cutting it on myself and I did not cut it before I put it on my head but 
it's okay it's okay so I'm just I want it to be asymmetrical Let me make sure everything is in there okay so I want it to be asymmetrical I need to make my part now so that I can so I want a low part over the truck. Okay. So this is where I want my part to be. Yeah, I think. Um. Yeah. Okay, so this is where I want my part to be. I'm just going to go ahead and wet the hair. At first, I was going to kind of cut it while it's kind of frizzy, but don't do this. Okay. Don't do this let me just wet it make my life easier Put about right there. Oh, this might be too long, but I don't know. Okay, so wait, I'm just gonna section this part because this is what I really have to worry about. Uh, like seriously, I'm trying to cut it at an angle. Okay, it's gonna have to be an angle more than that. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so I already cut that. That's cool. I'm just going to do it about right here. I'm going to wet it to see what it's looking like. Now, the curl is not very deep. Oh, I mean, it is deep wave, but, like, it's not, like, a complete spiral. Don't mind that. I'm trying to comb through curls with a comb. Like, <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna cut at an angle because, like, when it's in the back, it'll be. I don't even know how to explain this, so it's just. Go ahead and cut that. Yes. Okay. Boom. Right there. All right. Y'all see this? Walk around. I'm just gonna angle it back here and kind of. Oh wow, that's way too short. Oh wow, messed it up. Huh. What a surprise. Okay. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going with this. Remember when I'm pulling it, I have to make sure that I'm cutting it different. Because it's going to be in the back. So. I'm not pulling it. Okay. 
The, it's just this part, guys. <laughs> okay. Now I think I'm just gonna put this part in the ponytail and cut it because I can't freaking see. And hope that it matches. I think it does. I don't know. Just gonna cut it low. Okay, Whew. I feel like I'm doing this on my real hair. Okay, it's a little layered, but it's okay. Let's see what the back is looking like. Okay, I'm just gonna wet everything. Okay, I'm going to take the thing off. Actually, I'm going to come back once I'm ready to cut the lace because I'm also going to lay this down. Okay, so I think I'm ready to cut the lace. This is what it's looking like. Um, It's not too bad. I am going to have to ask my mom to touch it up for me. Or I might just have to touch it up myself because I'm trying to get this done. But I'm ready to cut the lace. So I'm going to go ahead and make the cut right here. I'm probably just gonna cut up this way. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through all of this. You guys can still see me do it, but just to spare your time. Okay guys, so I finished, this is what it's looking like, it's very bushy right now, but it's kind of cute, but I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna figure out how I wanna wear it, but I did the edges, so right now I'm just gonna take the band off, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, and I didn't do the hair with um, a lot of body today, I did it with this um, edge booster, edge control, so... This is what it's looking like. Super cute. I really like it. Period. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. A little behind the ear. Got a little out right here. Okay, so I'm finished. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe. And if you like this hair, make sure you go purchase some. Make sure you go purchase from some. Uh, make sure you go purchase some from Sealy Hair. The hair is actually really good. I really like the texture and it's really soft, as you can see. It was 18 inches and then I cut it into a bob. So. It's super, super cute. I'm glad I cut it. And, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe and go check them out. Bye.